All right, let's try that. What is going on, people? Welcome to another 901 Wrestling Stream. I am your host, known from coast to coast like butter and toast, Mr. 901 Tommy Jacks. And welcome to W4. Watch wrestling with wrestlers. And we've got pretty big guests from what I'm from what I'm told. Kind of a huge one here on W4. The star of the show, Andy Mack. That's right. We have got Andy Mack in the waiting room right now. We've got a match pulled up. He doesn't know which one it is. He's brought a couple of that I don't know what it is. And we're going to watch wrestling with Andy Mack. So without further ado, multiple time 901 champion, light heavyweight champion, tag champion, triple crown winner, star of the show, if you will, he is Andy Mack. Tommy Jackson, it's good to hear from you. 901 Wrestling, what is up? What's going I'm ready on? To watch some I'm ready to watch some wrestling. I'm excited to be here, Tommy. I know that might be a surprise to you, but I'll tell you why I'm excited to be here with you. Why is that? There is one thing that you and I have in common. We love to watch wrestling. Well, that's true. I mean, here's the thing. All the different things that divide us, that one thing, you're right. That'll bring some people together right there. Nothing brings people together like wrestling, pal. Mm -hmm. All right, so I've got something pulled up. You might be able to see a little bit of it. I tried to pause it just in time, right? But I've got a match for you that uh, should be kind of, uh, I don't know, near and dear to your heart a little bit, maybe. I'm floating all around the screen here, pal, trying to fix stuff on the fly. You know, Contar hired a DJ for this stream. I've already fired him, pal. I've already fired him. Tony the Jabroni is gone. He's no, he's no longer part of the stream. But we've got Andy Mack, guys. Apparently, Contar's trying to put butts in the seats. So we'll give him that. Maybe he's doing something right for a change. But I got something pulled up for you, Andy. Okay. I think, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Hey, look, I think you're going to like this. I'm here to watch wrestling. I'm not here to just listen to you jaw. All right. So. All right. All right. I'm going to be nice because I'm working for 901 right now. So. There you go. All right, here we go. Thanks. Let's, All right, here let's we see go. if you recognize this. Oh, man. Y'all are just going to let me watch myself get my... All right. All right. Yeah, this, is, this is the third ever uh, brought out in Raw. And it was the first one for myself and the first one for Ken Beckham. Really, up to this point, this is kind of the culmination of, of the rivalry that Ken and I had. And here you come, right here, making his way to the ring. Yeah, the right there. Whoa! Here we go. Yeah, as you can tell, I was really, really upset. Yeah. And, uh, I was ready. I was ready to fight. I wasn't here for no wrestling match tonight. Which was well, you didn't come fun. out. You didn't come out in your normal swag, if you will. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you're out here in jeans, and yeah. uh, you know, fist all all taped up, pal. So yeah, it looks like you're, you're you're ready for business. This is not a normal night for Andy Mack. Oh no, we're gonna be throwing fists and hitting each other with stuff, man. Ain't, ain't nothing gonna be pretty about this. Uh, and this not this is. This is definitely a match you're right, very near and dear to my heart. Very physical. Look at yeah. that. Look at that, pal. You're just trying to, you're swinging for the fences at this point. Yeah, you thought it was going to be that easy. It's not going to be that easy. It'll be this easy. Now I'm not even quite catching up. But, Packed uh, rec room as usual. Yeah, man. This, they were loaded up tonight. These people were really with all the action, too. I think this is the, if I'm not mistaken, this is the thing that, this is the same night as the famous the famous literal dark match that we had at 901 Wrestling, correct? Yep. You are okay. correct. So in the first match you know, of, uh, of the show that happened on this night, it was, uh, I think it was your guy, wasn't it? From Shane Schaffner? Yeah. Schaffner and Walker Hayes. That's right. 
Tommy was out there talking a whole bunch of trash to me. Oh, well, look at that. <laughs> that bug was about, for Ken. That's right, man. I tell you what, I, I, I got to be honest. When I swung and hit him with it, every bit of beer that I just poured in my mouth just fell right out. I just <laughs> was not in any control of my thing at that point in time. So not only not only are you guys both abusing each other, but alcohol abuse is, is apparently That's taking right. effect. That's he right. Spilled, spilled all over the place. I abused him with alcohol. Yeah. Well, there you go. Oh, how did that feel? That felt. That, that I tell you what. That felt bad then. It felt worse the next morning. I mean, I think I bruised the kidney or something because that one was rough. I mean, it was not easy to go about doing you know normal things. So yeah, no, it's uh, that looked like it sucked there, pal. And look, see, that was enough. I'm gonna see if we can't get you a little, little bigger picture for the people to see Andy Mack. There we yeah. go. There we go. I had you sitting at the little kids' table there for a minute. Well, yeah, earlier in this night, was, it, was, it was Shane and Walker, and, and the power goes out while you're out there talking trash. And that was the night that, you, that we saw that you were pretending with that whole time you were in that wheelchair. How's that come back? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about on that. I do remember the lights going out. Go back on the YouTube, folks. It's on the YouTube, on the internet. On if you turn your dial up, up and then go get on the internet, and you'll find Tom and Jack hopping up and he's stomping around the ring. Well, look, uh, I'm, but, a, I'm gonna tell you this. That that is a good. You got a you got a point. You guys do need to check out 901 Wrestling on YouTube. Go to youtube.com forward slash 901 Wrestling and subscribe. That's right. Now, Ken is bringing out hardware, pal. Yeah, who left that under the ring? We don't need extension cords and stuff. We don't need all that. Look, there's none around the ring. We have no use for that. I've never seen it before in my life. Well, look, guy, I'm going to tell, tell you this much, Andy. I can understand a cord being under there. I can understand a chair. Hell, I can even understand a table. You know, he didn't bring out any ridiculous thing like a bob wire bunny rabbit or nothing so i mean yeah, I'm a, you know all that, oh. that's, just, that's not what i get paid to do man. i don't remember seeing this oh yeah man he's he's choking you with an extension cord man i remember i didn't realize what it was until right here this is the first time i actually saw the thing that wrapped around my neck yeah and you kind of see the expression on your face man it was kind of like yeah. damn did that just happen you know yeah, it wasn't good. Oh, man, speaking of no good, what's about to happen here, man? These folks are, uh, you know, it, it wasn't always like this, but these oh, these folks are, are loving some Andy Mack right here. I'm, try, I'm trying to cover up to keep my sternum from breaking right I've, I've seen that. Well, you know, you've experienced those kicks right there before. Yeah. He, 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 listen, he is a powerful, powerful human being. I take nothing away from him as a competitor. I just have to spend the yeah, see, he's trying to get you, and you can tell that he ain't quite getting what he wants, but, I mean, he's still laying them right across yeah, the chest. Even, even if you can kind of block up, even if you can get a hand up or anything like that with those kicks, man, it's going to push back in you, and it's going to knock the wind out of you. you know, that's what you're trying to avoid with that. And that's because that's what he does, man. If he's, not, if he's not busting your ribs up, he's at least knocking wind out of you. If you can't breathe, how are you going to fight him? Yeah, man can't breathe, man can't fight. That's yeah. That's how that works. So, uh, um, no cold. I yeah. mean, same principle. Yeah, exactly. This one. Oh, you mm. know, it's funny. You know, people see people get thrown on those pads down there and they're like, oh, they're fine. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tell my shoulder, man. I still yeah. have a pocket in my shoulder, too. Well, you know, I mean, the thing about it is, yeah, there's a pad on the ground, right? Lovely. Okay? There's concrete underneath it, and concrete doesn't move. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. There's, no like, there's nothing be beyond that mat besides a sudden stop. Yeah. Yeah, ain't no good. So, just a quick announcement. We had a new follower while, um, while we were waiting to uh, get connected and everything. Uh... Bob, 6497. Thank you for the follow. You are the man. There we All go. Right. Shout out. Bob, 6497. You're a great dude. You're a great dude. 
What is he looking for? He is constantly searching. It can't be good. Oh, oh wait a second. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. Now, see, I can under I can understand that. You always need chairs at a wrestling show. Here's what people don't realize. Here's what probably happens. See, I bet you put that under the other corner, but what happens is uh, a lot of times, like, it's kind of like a car with the tires. A lot of times the crew will come out about a half hour before the show, and they'll rotate the ring. For, uh, you know, I got you. Probably rotated the ring, and now that's why he doesn't know uh, where the chairs are going back. Oh, well, or he had multiples. Well, if he had multiples, it should have been easier to find. Yeah, true. <laughs> there we go. This is a little payback right here. This isn't easy. <laughs> that wasn't easy. Hey, that was, right now that, in the uh, chat, we have got 901 Wrestling Champion Big Swole Justin Cole. Oh, my gosh, shout out Big Swole. He says uh, Ken Dang was looking for dumplings and found a chair. Looking for dumplings. That's what I don't I said. know. The so, Andy, if you'll if you'll do me a favor and stay sitting forward like that a little bit, you're picking up a little bit better. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, I could see you tried to stop that man, but your forward momentum would not let you. And, yeah, man, that's a strong dude throwing me like that. Man. I, I look at him laughing. Stop. I tried to stop it. I turned my back to it because your back is. A lot of people don't realize your back is. As far as the rib cage, a little bit more protected. Yeah. Uh, then, then your sternum and your front side yeah. is a little bit less susceptible when you're talking about vital organs and stuff. It's about, you know, that's about gut level with that period. So. Yeah, absolutely. Did you see yeah. him maniacally laughing on the ground? Yeah. I mean, and I heard him in the, at the time when he was doing it. You know, I mean, he's, 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 so I, let me ask you this. All right, you're in this match. You're in this position, right? The guy next yeah. to you, right, who who is just hurt, you know, is trying to hurt you, okay? That's, I mean, there's no way around it. Yeah. And, and he's beside you right after you've taken something that's, you know, kind of paused you for a minute, and he's maniacally laughing. Psychologically, mm -hmm. what does that do to you? So, it's a, it's a very scary thing. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that it's not. Uh, something that's pretty intimidating about him, how kind of menacing he can be. Uh, but I will tell you that on this particular, there was a couple times in title matches and title defenses against him and things like that where that type of thing did affect him, that intimidation factor. But we had had so many wars up to this point, and we were, just, I was just so obsessed with hurting him too. See, I, I wanted to hurt him too. So in that moment, really, I was just trying to get myself a recovery spot for an edge. Take the moment where he was giving it to me because even though he's, even though he's laying there right, he's not right on top of me, so I can take a second, I can try to catch my breath back, I can try to figure out what my strategy is going for. Because while, yeah, he's laying there laughing tonight, and that's something that, as an intimidation technique, can work in your favor, if it doesn't work, then you're wasting time. I tell you what, I, you know. See, like right here, I don't have any space. If he's on top of me, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. I'm going to tell you, that's one of the more brutal things I've ever seen at 901. And I understand you've been hit with steps, okay? You've been crushed across them. You've been, you know, he's kicked the, the bejesus out of you up until this point, okay? But I'm going to tell you, and we've had some Pier 6 brawls at the rec room, at the rail garden. But that is one of the more nasty, brutal things I've ever seen in a match. He wrapped your hair around the rope and started pummeling you. And there's nothing the referee can do about it in a match like this because this is a street fight. Yeah. No, oh, I mean, look at there. Yeah. Little, little wrestling. You know, hey, at the heart of it, I'm still a wrestler. So Well, I mean, know. at the end of the day, the point is to win the damn match. Yeah, and I caught it. I caught it with the kick. You know, I didn't catch him square in the jaw like I want to, but I did catch him with the down. And uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to connect on the moonsault there. I tell you, you don't miss that a lot. Uh, well, I missed it this night. Yeah. Uh, Ken's seen it a lot. So. Not, well, both of you guys, spot. by this time, should should have every, each other well scouted by this time. Yeah. Uh, definitely. I would definitely say that it. You you hear know, the, the reason. Here comes the crowd trying to help you. Does that help you I, at all? Now, I tell my guys, don't listen to the crowd because they're a bunch of idiots. I'll tell you that it helps in a sense of not so much 
like this, you know, how people typically think it's like this big rah 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 moment or anything like that. Uh, that happens more when you got some space, but in a moment like that where he's got his hand on it, he's just taking a big blow, a headshot, whatever it is, and you're disoriented and you're kind of out of it and you're starting to slip away a little bit, hearing, hearing your name can kind of wake you up. It's kind of like smelling salt or something like that. You kind of wake you up and you get a little bit of a, a yolk that you used to, uh, to, to keep fighting. Keep well, that, they, you know, my guys normally just hear that they suck, so I tell them just to ignore it. Right. See, if I was when I when I in the past when I've been told that thing, which has been a long time. Uh, I found that I don't know how you kicked out there after he put all his weight on you. Yeah, I don't. He did. I don't know how else to say it. I don't, uh, look, at the look. at the at the sake of being a little gross, a normal man probably would have pooped himself. <laughs> well, luckily I have excellent. Uh, Intestinal fortitude. <laughs> there you go. See, there's another spot well scouted. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely. This uh, is a hell of a match, Andy. I, you know, me and you don't get along. Okay, it's it's well documented. Yeah. But right now in this particular forum, I'll sit here and tell you this is a hell of a match so far. Well, you know, uh, not over yet. Um, <laughs> we got a ways to go, but it, it was it was a hell of a match, and it was a hell of a fight. Now we're so. we're not just gonna watch this match. I, from uh, what I understand, you've got a few few things that you want to watch too with us, right? Well, I do. Uh, I don't know that I've got it. Oh, I'll have to find the links and stuff when it comes time. But yeah, uh, yeah I that's fine. Got... Leave it a secret. We'll do a tease. How about that? Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, but I've definitely got some ideas. Now here's the moment where. You know, I've just been able to, uh, to headbutt King of Thrones and kind of knock him off. And the crowd is starting to kind of come up here. Right? They're starting, starting oh, to Oh, Lord. Because I'm starting to feel that the crowd can see a turn in momentum, which means that there really is a turn in momentum. I got a shot. I hit the big moonsault. So I you're, you're I using that kind of like a like a litmus test, a gauge, because you can kind of feel, feel it build. Yeah, okay. because sometimes, sometimes you can be fooled and it can seem like you're about to get some momentum going. And you can be stuffed out and, you know, you can be knocked back down. But, but right here, they, like... It's woodshed it's, time. Yeah, and it's apparent to the fans that, you know, the, the direction of the map has kind of changed and shifted. And so since I can hear that, it's apparent to them, it might, you know, it, the feeling that I have is not false, it's not a I'm not in a false sense of security. I really got some momentum. And you're, you're, got. You came off the ropes with the belt, pal. Yeah. I you mean, get a you little know, extra momentum on that. Extra momentum for everything you can, man. I'll come off the ropes to lock up with you. I'm not scared. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Ken's feeling it. Look at his face. Yeah, he's feeling it, man. I wore him out. You just uh, whooped him like an oxen in the field. You know, and here's the thing is, I was about to go away for a little while. I had some other stuff I was about to go check out and go do, and I was uh -oh. going to go out and take a little break. But Ken didn't want to go tap me. He didn't want to provoke me. And so I think he's getting everything he deserves, bro. Oh, no. Here oh, we no, go. No, 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 Oh. Blue thunder oh. right there. Oh, Lord. Hey, Andy Mack, uh, go ahead and... and Tell the folks who uh, who think that those aren't metal chairs and that they feel great. Tell tell them how that feels. <laughs> you see how the one chair gave? It just went. Yeah. You did not. Yeah. Those chairs are real. Yeah. That is a a metal folding chair. Yeah, just like and the one I'm I, sitting in. Yeah, and I was playing on it. I tell you what, that right there, you. I'm gonna tell you, you probably probably shouldn't have got up from that. I mean, just 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 based on what just happened, you know, no, not take anything I, away from you or anything. I'm just saying. I think I made the right decision. Oh Here's no, one. definitely. I'm just saying, like, if you know, given oh. given to somebody else, given a different situation, I don't know if they get up. All right. Here we oh, go. Oh, here we go. Setting it up. Uh. I tell Base you, plan. you can see his right through here hit the hit the leg edge of that, and there it is, ball game, pal. Unprettier. 
You know, it'd been a while since uh, we had seen you go to that, but I, I, you know, dropping a man's head through a chair. Well, you know, Ken's seen that kick a million times, and we've walked through a few of them. A few times I faced him, one note that I did take was that uh, one time I think I kicked him three times, and he didn't keep him down. Normally it takes one, right? And it took three, and Listen. it did not keep him down. So I felt like, I felt like I had to go to something else. You know? There it is. Yeah, we had uh, 901 probably had to uh, dub over that music just. <laughs> but but uh, in case anybody's wondering what Andy Mack's theme song is, it is Andy, You're a Star by The Killers. So you guys can rock that while you're going down the street. They wrote it for me. <laughs> there you go, right? Um, all right, guys. So that is the match that we had for Andy Mack. Give us a couple of. Uh, um, is there anything that kind of came back to you? Any any little tidbits that you'd like to tell us about that now that we've that we've seen it? What was that? I'm sorry. I'm trying. <laughs> trying to I'm find trying those to links. Find this. That's fine. I was like, now that we've seen that whole match, right? Uh, for the people, you know, what is there any you watching it back again? Is there anything that 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 you thought of watching it back another time? Is there anything that popped up in your mind? Uh, this was a moment. The end of this match was just. Far none, any match I've ever had, the biggest explosion I've ever heard a crowd have at the end of a match. Let's go, uh, the only other, let's go back to that the, real quick. I'm listening. Yeah, the only other time I can recall that was kind of similar was in the triple threat match we had a couple of months before this with 901 champion Big Swole Justin Cole. By the way, sent me a fitness program, getting big on them. So, there you go. Out. Let's see, right, <clears throat> right through here, right through here. <clears throat> All right, hold on. We're I'm actually going to turn this up a little bit so that the people can hear it. And here we go. He swings and a miss. Oh, that slammed right against his head. That was a little bit that took it off. Left him loopy. Saw your opportunity right here. Got him double hooked. Turned around. Face right on the edge of that chair. Now listen to this. Throwing babies in the air, pal. Throwing babies in the air. I've got a picture. I've done all the social media and I've made and everything. You can hold me right over here. I'm laying on my side and I've got my fist up. It's from the back and all the people are, you know, just with it. And it's a really cool picture and it's a, it's a moment. They are hollering, pal. They are hollering. Hold on, let me uh, let me see if I can get it to where I want to hear. Look, look at the joy on on Andy Mack's face right there of being. Yeah, man, it's over. That's right. I'm gonna look. Look at that. Happy, pal. He got through it, defeated. I, I mean, what I would say, one of your arch nemesi, you mm -hmm. know. If we if we were to really look down through the history books. All right. How do you want me to get these links to you? Uh, just um, send it to me a messenger. It's fine. All right. And I'll uh, I'll get it hooked up there, pal. All right. This is definitely. One oh, one. buddy. All right. Yeah. The suggestions. Yeah, that's great. Hold on. We're gonna we're definitely doing that, pal. That is. That is good stuff. Oh, by the way, while I've got a chance, I'm going to take a moment, do some self-promotion real quick. How there you go. That? Go for it. Gentlemen, I'm Andy Mack. I'm the star of the show at 9 one Wrestling and all over the independent wrestling scene. I want you guys to go to my social media. I want you to follow me. I want to show you these sweet new t-shirts I got. I want all this good stuff because I love you. And I want you to love me, too. So, I got these t-shirts. First thing in First and foremost, star of the show, Andy Mack t-shirt. I'm not good at maneuvering in front of this camera, but that's okay. You need this t-shirt. And I got it. So just slide in my DMs, which you can find on all my social media pages. I'm pretty sure all of them are Andy Mack 901 on Facebook. It's just Andy Mack page. Please, please, please show some love, and I will return every bit of it. Well, I'll tell you what. Andy Mack, I can't believe I'm saying this. But it was actually good having you here on the show. 
Oh, man, I had a lot of fun being here, Tommy, and, uh, you know, I got to say it's been a great time. I love watching wrestling. It's, like, my favorite thing. So, you know, when I, when I was told, hey, we know you don't really like Tommy, but we want you to be on be on the Twitch stream, I was like, hell yes. So I'm happy, I'm happy I was able to do it. I tell you what, guys, make sure that you follow Andy Mack on all social media. Andy, go ahead and plug away there and let them know where they can see you wrestle until 901 comes back. That's right. Uh, so you can follow me on social media, Andy Mac 901 on Instagram, Andy Mac 901 on Twitter. Uh, you can follow the Andy Mac page on Facebook. I'm all over the place. And you can also slide into my DMs on any of those. And you can get your very own Andy Mac star of the show t-shirt just freshly in just got the bat i look really silly right now but if you hit me up holy brock get your t-shirt i got the size i promise i've got the size there so, you go and then if you want to catch me in action right now you can catch me most thursdays saturdays and select sundays when they have tv taping the usa championship wrestling out in jackson tennessee uh, also be on the lookout for me to pop up at any other show around the area or uh, potentially even out of the area. And if you're on my social media, you'll be able to keep in touch with all those things. So uh, thanks so much for having me. Thanks so much for letting me plug my stuff. I cannot wait to perform for the 901 Wrestling Fan There you go. And I've got I've got uh, one of those Andy Max Star, Star of the Show t-shirts for the free, right? Uh, you're, no, but I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll just count it for you at a, at a, you can get yours for 30 bucks. But you said they were 20. Huh? Yeah. But not for you. All right. All right. Well, hey, on, that, on that note. Holiday. On that note. Guys, thanks so much for joining us here on the 901 Wrestling Twitch stream. We're affiliated, baby. That's right. Your wrestling show. And it's because of you that we're affiliated and you've been keeping us going during COVID. Keep your ear to the ground and listen for the sound because pretty soon 901 Wrestling's coming back to town.